Ivan Alexandrovich Goncharov, 1812-1891, was a prominent Russian novelist, known for his realistic style and portrayal of the everyday lives of 19th-century Russian society. His most famous works include Oblomov, A Common Story, and The Precipice. Goncharov's novels are celebrated for their in-depth character development and exploration of the human psyche, as well as their social commentary on Russian society during his time. Early Life Ivan Goncharov was born on June 18, 1812, in Simbirsk, Russia, now Ulyanovsk, to a wealthy merchant family. He was raised in a privileged environment and received a quality education from private tutors. In 1829, he moved to Moscow to attend the University of Moscow where he studied literature, mathematics and languages. However, he was forced to leave the university in 1831 due to the death of his father, which left the family in financial distress. Career and Major Works Despite the financial setbacks, Goncharov managed to secure a position as a translator in the Russian Ministry of Finance and Street. Petersburg in 1834 While working in the civil service, he continued his passion for writing and published his first novel, A Common Story in 1847. This novel critiqued the superficiality and pretensions of Russian high society, and it received a warm reception from both critics and the public. Oblomov, which has become a classic of Russian literature The novel tells the story of Ilya Ilyich Oblomov, a member of the declining Russian nobility who has become completely paralyzed by his own inertia and inability to take any decisive action. The character of Oblomov has come to symbolize the complacency and passivity that plagued the Russian upper class during the 19th century. Oblomov was well received and garnered Goncharov significant praise for his keen observations of Russian society and his ability to develop complex, relatable characters. Goncharov's third and final novel, The Precipice, was published in 1869. The novel explores the moral dilemmas faced by the protagonist, Boris Reisky, who must choose between a life of hedonism and a life of virtue. The Precipice is considered a more somber work compared to his earlier novels, reflecting Goncharov's growing disillusionment with the moral decay he perceived in Russian society. In addition to his novels, Goncharov also worked as a journalist and travel writer. He documented his journey around the world aboard the frigate Palata in the 1850s, which he later published as the frigate Palata in 1858. This travelogue provided Goncharov with a wealth of experiences and perspectives that he would later incorporate into his fiction. Later Life and Legacy Goncharov retired from his position in the civil service in 1867, having reached the rank of collegiate assessor. In his later years, he suffered from bouts of depression and largely withdrew from public life. He continued to write, but he did not produce any more novels after The Precipice. Goncharov passed away on September 27, 1891, in Street. Petersburg, leaving behind a legacy as one of the foremost Russian writers of the 19th century. Ivan Goncharov's work has had a lasting impact on Russian literature, and his novels continue to be widely read and studied today.